Hey everyone, welcome to the National Random Acts of Kindness Day edition of our CPA News Update. I'm Bill Sheridan with the Maryland Association of CPAs and the Business Learning Institute. Here's what's happening around the profession today, Wednesday, February 17th, 2016. First up, the Maryland Comptroller's Office would be able to withhold tax refunds from individuals who have outstanding arrest warrants throughout the state. That's under a pair of Maryland bills designed to provide criminal suspects with a financial incentive to turn themselves in. Comptroller Peter Francho stood with legislators and law enforcement officials to speak in favor of a program that supporters say would reward law-abiding citizens and diminish the potential risk police officers may face. Under the program, the Comptroller's Office mails a letter to those with outstanding warrants, informing them of an opportunity to turn themselves into law enforcement. Those named in a warrant can come in under safe and controlled conditions, affording them the opportunity to arrange for bail, find an attorney, and avoid public embarrassment. You can read more about that at MarylandReporter.com. The IRS urged tax professionals in an email today to verify their electronic filing identification numbers uh, to monitor the activity on those numbers, rather, to safeguard against tax fraud. The IRS noted that tax preparers need to protect both their electronic filing identification number and their electronic transmitter identification number, as well as passwords from authorized use. The IRS also urged tax preparers to take time to review their e-file application to verify the number of returns they have transmitted and to ensure that it has not been compromised. Read more about that at accountingtoday.com. The Financial Accounting Standards Board, Standards Board rather, is expected to release its long-awaited lease accounting standard this quarter, and companies are bracing for the impact that will have on their balance sheets. The changes will require companies to gather significantly more information and require more management judgments each reporting period, according to PricewaterhouseCoopers. The changing model might affect financial ratios and metrics, lease versus buy decisions, accounting processes and controls, and technology. Get details at accountingtoday.com. As the May effective date for the Securities and Exchange Commission's crowdfunding rules draws closer, the agency has released a primer for investors who wish to participate in such ventures. On Tuesday, the SEC released an investor alert uh, detailing the parameters and potential risks associated with crowdfunding. Companies can use crowdfunding to offer and sell securities to the investing public starting on May 16th, Funding portals could be registered with the commission in late January. Read more about that at thinkadvisor.com. The IRS is developing a future state plan that it says will transform the way the service interacts with taxpayers. Many components in the plan may ease the process of filing returns, the issuing of refunds, and the identification and resolution of problems, but the Taxpayer Advocate Service, an independent part of the IRS that defends and assists taxpayers, warns that key components of the plan are going to aggravate taxpayers and may make it more difficult to find answers and resolve issues. One of the thornier parts of the plan may actually benefit tax preparers. The plan calls for the IRS to attempt to outsource some of its services to the private sector. The idea is to make it easier for tax preparers, software companies, and other providers to answer taxpayer questions, resolve issues, and prepare returns. That sounds nice until taxpayers figure that out, in effect, uh, figure out rather that in effect they will have to start paying for the aggravation that used to be free. Uh, read more about that at cpatrendlines.com. Meanwhile, ongoing budget cuts at the IRS means that several of the services the IRS offers will be trimmed down this tax season. The reduction in services can make an already stressful tax season for accountants even more taxing as wait times for IRS assistance will be increasing. IRS Commissioner John Koskinen recently told reporters that people should only use the phone if you absolutely have to, as wait times will regularly be 30 minutes or more. Get details at cpapracticeadvisor.com. Company tax returns done by outside auditors claim almost a third fewer questionable benefits than those prepared by outside accountants or company in-house tax preparers. That's according to a new study published in the January-February issue of the Accounting Review. Why would external auditors be more cautious? Well, because they've got more to lose. By providing audit and tax services, they face greater costs compared to other preparers if an audit or court action overturns a position. That's according to that study in the Accounting Review. Read more about that at accountingweb.com. Finally, if you audit employee benefit plans, uh, you're not going to want to miss 
our annual Employee Benefit Plans Conference on May 16th at the Sheridan in Columbia, Maryland. The conference equips CPAs in public and private sectors with guidance to better audit and operate employee benefit plans. Get complete details and register at macpa.org. That's it for today. Have a great night, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care.